Hi friends, I'm Maria and I'm a third year medical student studying at the University of Cambridge. But this year, I'm actually not studying medicine. Why? Well, I'm actually doing an intercalated year. So that's a year that you do on top of your five years of medical school and that gets you an additional degree. So in the case of me, I'm getting a BA at the end of this year. Um, so what did I actually decide to study? Um, I decided to study zoology this year. Um, it's quite a rogue decision. Um, out of the 300 or so medics in my year, only two of us are doing zoology. Um, so that's fewer than the number of people who have actually gone and done engineering, which is absolutely crazy. It was also really difficult to track down all the medical students who had intercalated in zoology. Um, but after exchanging quite a few messages and a few Zoom calls, I was pretty certain that zoology was the right choice for me as an intercalation. But why zoology, I hear you cry? <laughs> well, let me explain. Okay, so reason one is to satisfy my inner child. So ever since I was really young, anything that moved, I was on it whether it was domestic animals, prehistoric beasts like dinosaurs, or anything in between, I was obsessed. I'd spend ages reading about animals in my free time. I loved shows like Deadly 60 and anything by David Attenborough. I also spent ages at the Natural History Museum in London, which is a fantastic place to visit. I also loved the London Zoo. I, I think I had a three year consecutive membership to go. I would be there literally every month. Number two, so by doing zoology, it allows me to really think about those big questions which have always been on my mind. Things like, where did we come from? How were animals even domesticated in the first place? How can we go from one cell into a fully functioning organism? What's happening with climate change and what can we do about it? So, Zoology really takes a broad look at things and it's pretty interesting and really focuses on questions like this, um, which is what drew me to go and study it in the first place for my intercalation. That brings me on to my next point. Zoology is so broad. So there are 16 modules you can choose from and you pick four. Um, I think zoology out of anything in the biology faculty shares the most modules with other courses. So it shares courses with plant sciences, genetics, biochemistry, uh, PDN, which is physiology, development and neuroscience, and PNB, which is psychology, neuroscience and behavior. So ultimately it's incredibly broad. So you can tailor it to see whatever you're really interested in. Um, even if you initially think you're interested in something, you can then change it throughout the year, which I found really appealing. It's one of the few chances I will have to learn something other than medicine at a high level. So something that's really integral to medicine is this whole concept of lifelong learning. And that's something that really attracted me to medicine in the first place. However, because you're gonna be learning about medicine to such a high level, there won't really be that much time to learn about things in as much depth in the future. So things in zoology have really interested me and that's why I want to take this opportunity to learn about them in way more detail than I could have otherwise. It's also a chance to take a break from medicine. Well, medicine is a really long course. Five or six years in the UK, that's a huge, huge undertaking and a massive slog. So I guess by doing zoology, that allows me to have a bit of a change of pace and to kind of refresh myself by doing something slightly different. Another big factor for me was the opportunity to do research. So anything within the biology faculty in Cambridge um, can either be classed as a single subject, so things like psychology, plants, or zoology, or it can come under BBS, known as Biological Biomedical Sciences. So under BBS, you do a dissertation, which is essentially a really long essay, or if you do a single subject, you do a research project. 
The research project can take loads of different forms. It can be wet lab, so that's actually you being in the lab doing pipetting, seeing things with a microscope and that sort of thing. It can be dry lab where you're coding um, or doing some sort of other image analysis or you can be doing field work. So you can basically be collecting data about plants or animals in the wild. For me, I think it's been really good having this opportunity to do a research project because I've been able to learn all these different skills, which I wouldn't have been otherwise. I've actually been able to go into a lab, learn about petting and using really cool high tech microscopes. In addition, I've actually gotten to code, uh, which I don't think I would have had to otherwise. Um, so that's been really cool. Also, um, it gives me the opportunity to gauge whether research is something I would actually be interested in doing in the future. So because of the pandemic, I guess it's been really difficult to get any work experiences or placements in the lab. So yeah, this is my first time really seeing whether this is something I'd like to do in the future. So there you have it. Those are the main reasons I decided to intercalate in zoology this year. I'd actually written them down at the beginning of the year. I think it'll be really interesting to see how they compare to um, my experiences of the course once I'm finished with it. Um, if you're interested in that, go and take a look at that video once I've posted it. Also, if you're interested in intercalations more generally and whether that's something you should do, go check out my video on that too. Um, I hope this video was interesting and useful to you guys. If there's anything you want to know more about, just let me know in the comments below. Um, Hopefully I'll see you guys in the next video. See you next time. Bye.